Is it working? Okay, hi guys and welcome back to some more U4 Eldorado as Great Romania or more like as a somewhat average Romania. Uh, yeah, we continue on with our things. We apparently have a new technology, a new diplomatic technology. Uh, should we pick it? We almost finished the uh, humanist ideas and uh, they are administrative ideas anyway, so I don't see, I see no reason not to pick them. Do we have any mission that requires us to build a building? Uh, only a military building, so yeah, we can definitely get the new diplomatic technology. It's going to allow us to uh, build more advanced ships. Uh, oh, look at that, more money or administrative power. Uh, I'll take the money for now, we definitely need a lot of money. Uh, we have no advisor, we have a 551 um, leader, which does mean that our military uh, uh, technology is going to get a little bit behind, but apart from that, uh, the others are going on very, very well. Uh, especially like the admin one, because it's also our focus, and uh, that's pretty uh, obvious. Why? Because we still have the humanist ideas that we want to finish. Uh, reduce the independence of the church. Uh, rein them in. Sure, more money. I don't care about the uh, patriarchal authority. It could be good. It could be good. I mean, at maximum, it will give us more missionary strength, less unrest, uh, less taxes, because, you know, everybody knows that churches must have their own taxation system and uh, more manpower. So, you know, uh, benevolence will be the next idea. I don't see no reason not to take it, so there you go. Their relations over time will hopefully be very beneficial if you start uh, conquering other provinces. And uh, yeah, we're still trying to sort of uh, make friends with people around us. The Ottomans kind of like us, but unfortunately we cannot do anything with them because, you know, they are a different religion. Hungary is never going to be an option, and even less so now they are in the personal unit, uh, union under Austria. Austria has different uh, businesses, but is allied with Muscovy, which we had like very good opinion with. Fortunately, they no longer want to royal marry us for some whatever reason. I am royal married to... Uh, Poland in the hopes that maybe I can sneak in in their elective monarchy and do something interesting there. Have 9% chance to be elected as a monarch, which, uh, you know, could be interesting. Just uh, just could. Lithuania also can't uh, really do much with them, although it would be nice. I suppose we could improve relations in the hopes that maybe something will happen. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? And apart from that, other countries are just, uh, you know, just don't really care much about them. I just noticed that because of our Venice, the Merchant Republic will also get increased uh, for the uh, goods produced in all our provinces, which is, you know, pretty good. Uh, autonomy decreased, I think, has um, it hasn't gone away, but uh, it's not uh, enough to, like, cause any uh, problems internally. The next uh, tradition will be pretty good. It will... Uh, Good, good, yeah, it is good. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my voice. Uh, it has been Easter, and uh, happy Easter to all my uh, Eastern European friends, and happy late Easter to uh, any of my uh, other uh, f uh, subscribers from across the world. You know, it's a pretty nice time, and uh, I'm glad to be uh, doing these videos in this time. So should we build a star fort just uh, because we have a mission? Let's, like, reduce inflation before we do that, just... Uh, won't be really that expensive and let's see 75 mm, doesn't really did much but I suppose we could uh, execute the troublemakers or abolish the tax uh, sure why not and do we have any other an embassy would be absolutely amazing well look at how expensive it is not to mention a march a march on the border with an enemy would also be extremely beneficial uh, yeah, maybe some other time. We also don't have any advisors, so we could hire an advisor. We are making a bunch of money right now, but that's because we have zero army maintenance, and we're, I don't think we are, are we at the force limit? No, we're not. We could, like, hire two more guys. How's our army composition right now? Fuck's sake, I'm trying to click it. There you go. Four infantry, one cavalry, two cannons. I suppose we could build like another infantry and cavalry or another infantry and cannon. Let's go for one infantry for now and uh, then we'll figure out later on. We could also build even more buildings. Temple could be useful, so would be another worry. Any building would be useful for us, just increase our uh, 
uh, nation, uh, improve our nation locally while uh, we prepare for uh, better things to come, I suppose. Parai is still doing privateering in the Alexandria node. <laughs> Very funny how uh, it does. Too bad it's not like winning enough money to even uh, compensate for its costs. I guess we could win more if we would send it against. Oh god. God damn it, Poland! They just insulted us like freaking dogs. How dare they? Ah! So annoyed. They deserve Moldovia. Hmm. Oh, I would so wish for my candidate to become. Um... Oh shit! Alright, declaration of war from Poland. Without any freaking allies, that's, uh, you know, just the best thing that could happen to me. Uh, military maintenance to the max. What else can we do over here? Could raise war taxes, sure. This might be a uh, war that we might get uh, into it for a little bit longer. Hmm. Should have, like, affected their uh, stability since, uh, you know, we have a royal marriage and also their prestige. Uh, yeah. I can't really see how much, though. It's too bad that we don't have any allies, you know. I tried, but there's, like, none would... Oh, desire an alliance with me, so let's uh, reduce the speed for now and see uh, what we can do around here. They have an army right on the border. We cannot really uh, do much about it. I wish like send. Uh, let's detach the cavalry, send it over there and scorch the earth, and then move back. The cavalry alone, for the reason being that you know if uh, we lose it, then uh, right we got our leader. Oh my God, that's another gigantic army. Six, can we get there in time? Yes, quarter, and then go back on the 18. Yeah, we'll lose that cavalry. I guess we should have just disbanded it. Uh, never mind. Uh, right, they did manage to get here, but they are going to suffer attrition because of uh, our scorched earth policies. They're uh, like uh, force blockaded it. Are they even allied with? Lithuania, yeah, there's nothing that we can do over here. Uh, let's see, Bezravia, Ottomans, uh, yes, thank you very much, I would like military access. Get out of here. Let's quarter some the way. Let's go to Silistra and also Scorcher there. There's really nothing we can do, we have no allies and there's no way we could raise an army big enough to fight them unless we get back into death and uh, we already seen how that's going so uh, it's better for us not to but yeah it's it's just a giant mess as i said i don't i don't know why no other country would like we're such in a, mm, in a weird spot over here that we cannot do anything uh yeah that temple is not going to do much for us all right there we go Forged earth in every single province. They're just going to get like massive attrition right now. Everywhere they're going, also their sieges will take longer, which means even more attrition. So all in all, it's going to be fine. My privateering ship is uh, still around here and uh, is not really threatened by uh, anyone. Where did that army go? Oh shit, they're coming after me. Ah, they also got like military access. God damn it. I wonder how far can we run away, like, just run all the way to like the edges of the Ottoman Empire and they just keep chasing me. Yeah, there's there's not much for us that we can do here. We're going to run over here and at least get a crossing. That might uh, work well for us. Hope this didn't reset our movement. Alright, and the last place, over right over here. Although this doesn't seem to be like actually count as a crossing, at least there are highlands, so the defensive bonus should apply. All right, let's see. The battles of the battles. They do not have a leader. They do have a terrain advantage. They do have a superior morale. Not that great to the. Uh, 
they are going to follow us and stack wipe us. I'm just going to like disband our army just to like not give them any war score. And yeah, another war lost. What a surprise. There's really not uh, nothing for us to do here. We're going to lose another province. Uh, could like sortie out. Like in the hopes of maybe just trying to like do something there. Some extra casualties. Man, they just instantly won the siege. Yeah, um, guys, suggest demands. They don't even want to make peace right now. Hmm. Towers to the nobles. Decentralized ruling. I don't really care that much for either of them, but you know, fuck it, what do I care? So yeah, we're going to get even smaller now, and uh, you know, if the Ottomans are going to attack us next, then that's going to be the end of the series. Some people have suggested that I start, I restart the series, but I'm not really certain I really want to do that. It's, it's you know, it's uh, with back and forth. It would be interesting to try again. We were in a good position, and I don't know exactly what happened. Just first Poland turned the back to us, then Austria, then Muscovy, and afterwards everything just fell. Sure, let's just finish our idea since we don't have anything to do. And yeah, now I'm just going to like switch on uh, full. Uh, oh, wise decision. We're going to switch on full administrative technology until we get the next idea, and the next idea will be espionage. Yeah, yeah, that will be interesting to grab. What do you want? Uh, offering us the following term: we will seed 10%. Of income, we'll see in Moldova, we'll renounce their claims, pay 77 ducats, and yeah, I, I think this is the best way we can get out of it. No questions asked. <sighs> I'm fucking believable. Balls not. At least we have like increased scoring costs, so they're going to get like huge, uh, like what they're called. Military access. What the fuck do you need them for? They're going to get like huge. Um, they're going to get behind on the. I don't have any idea what I clicked there. I wanted to like check out the technology. So yeah, as I said, they're going to get behind on the administrative technology. We are also way behind on the administrative technology, but that's because we had an administrative idea, you know. Oh, they also have humanist ideas. Uh, huh. Interesting. So this might not really affect them too much. Well, once again, we have no army. And we are paying some interest and obviously the uh, war reparations. Let's repay our loan just to get rid of it. How much is it? There we go. Uh, yeah. And apart from that, there's literally nothing else that we can do. Cancel our military access with uh, them. We don't really need them. Muscovy still don't want to. Austria still don't want to. Yeah, simply, sim as simple as that. We cannot do anything since there is no country that would like accept any sort of diplomatic relations with us. That's uh, that's our biggest like problem over here. I Try like there's literally no one. No. Hmm. So freaking annoying. I tried like everything. I tried the Ottomans, I tried Castile, I tried Venice, I tried Genoa, I tried Austria, I tried Poland, I tried Lithuania, I tried Muscovy. Uh, I'm not going to last this long, these countries. Eventually they're going to collapse somewhere, either between a war between East and West. By the way, I would like to really look at the religious map mode. And uh, yeah, there's we can see the Protestant and the Reformation going around here, which might make it, things interesting. Gain one stability or gain eight ducats. Eight ducats is not really that much. So I'll be happy with extra stability. So uh, there might be some problems here and there. Oster declare war on Switzerland. Uh, look at that. Uh, monthly autonomy. It is still going down. I would like to like further decrease it, but you know we cannot really do that. And yeah, I think we can even go for like speed five. There's literally not much else for me to do here. 
Lithuania has declared war on Crimea. Crimea are pretty weak right now. I don't know, with the Ottomans, so they might uh, get into a war. Ah, there you go. You know what, the... Uh, Poland, how about you go suck an ass? I'm not going to, like, offer them any access. And I'm going to offer full access to the Ottomans. Uh, they don't really want to, though. Hmm. If they can go through Crimea, there you go. Ottomans, you are free to go through my territory. Poland, you can go suck a dick. Uh, military technology, yes. Diplomatic technology, yes. Very increase our technology since we don't have anything else to do. We can grab our next uh, unit and that will be a new uh, artillery unit. I don't really care much about which. I think I'm going to grab the Pedero since it's a more of a middle one. And uh, apparently we can also get a better cavalry unit. There you go. I think we can get yeah the next uh, technology as well. And the next one is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to allow us force march and whatnot. Act of uniformity and suffrage in... Uh, I don't really want that, but act of uniformity... See no reason not to, just plus one military strength. Forever agriculture level revolution, hell yeah! Let's get a better base tax. We already have a huge base tax there, but you know, even more of the nice uh, hurt. Oh, and uh, yeah, we can now enact uh, new policies since we have... Uh, finished humanist ideas. I need to keep uh, on uh, administrative technology focus because I want to finish it. Uh, I, not to finish it, but I want to get it until I can unlock the next idea and then I'm going to focus on uh, diplomatic technology. And that will hopefully work out uh, good for us. I suppose we can, uh, well, not build an army, but just like, uh, you know, just freaking uh, build more buildings, I suppose. Uh, culture conversions, there are none, no missionaries, no local autonomy, no course to be done, could build more uh, caravels. Hmm, nah, I don't really feel like it. Crimea, sure, you can have military access. Uh, we can build uh, more temples, there you go. Harder war going on over here. They are winning the war. Wow, did they besiege Crimea fast. But at the same time, wow, look at the uh, Ottomans just sieging the crap out of Poland. They are not going to last very long. If the war drags on for long enough, the Ottomans are eventually going to have the upper hand. Uh, this also depends on like what countries get, in get involved. Mm. Oh, the, the Timurids are also on this side. Yeah. The state needs the money, or uh, something, yeah, I don't care, more money for me. We're making quite a bunch of buck over here, it could make even more once the diplomatic expenses are going to go away. Four more years. Could build a new building, let's build a marketplace. More uh, trade power for us. Could hire an advisor as well, I mean, it's, uh, uh, administrative advisor would be good for us, more production efficiency together with the idea that we'll get more points so we can finish those technology faster. I guess I'm going to do that since we don't need the money for anything else. And yeah, we need to uh, catch up on some technologies. We're slowly catching up. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 12. Look at the administrative te on the military technology on the Ottomans, they're just... Amazing. Hmm. Alright, I think we have enough for our advisor. There you go. And we should be able to get the, the next administrative technology right away. This also unlocks forced march and more production efficiency. And the next thing will unlock the new ideas. That's what I'm looking for. And I think the war just ended over here. Let's uh, let's read around here. So uh, Crimea will cede some provinces, and all treaties with the Ottomans. Ah, oh, come on! They totally had this war. That's yeah, just annoying. Muscovy, how are you feeling, mate? Yo, mate. Still can do this, mate? Maybe. Let's try. And 
war we are we still like improving relations with fucking no we are not we are like uh trying to like gain uh access to the throne we have like six percent chance i don't i don't really believe we're going to get elected over here so i should like cancel support a member of our dynasty to their throne but fuck it who cares uh gain a claim on nick bolu ottomans gain diplomatic insult against uh yeah i wouldn't really want to get this not really, the Ottomans are pretty mad at me either. Uh, uh, let's settle this two. A pretty bad. Uh, zero, 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 how is that unrest? If now it's like 0 0.1. Yeah, 10 navy tradition, cool. Going to get the, the best uh, admirals for the fleet that we never had, but you know, what do I care? <laughs> yeah, apart from that, I don't... Uh, wow, look at Austria going crazy around here. Austria is a real powerhouse. Do they have, like, any... Um, any, like, coalition against them? No, they don't. Near the Ottomans, near Muscovy. Things are going very uh, good in this uh, part of the world, amazingly enough. Norway is apparently going to get conquered by Sweden and return to their rightful owners. <laughs> Probably all the Swedish fans are going to be yay and all the Norwegian fans are going to be boo. Still making like 3.56 ducats. Oh, never mind. 1.6. Uh, those are good too. I should start rebuilding an army. Just for the sake of it. We're going to keep it on the lowest maintenance too, but you know I don't really think there's a point in doing it, doing it but uh, you know it's important to have an army took decision Ottomans the truce with uh, Poland and uh, Lithuania is finally over they did the uh, core this despite the increased scoring cost which uh, I do find it quite amazing they have armies on the border. They are uh, like converting it to uh, like religious conversions. I think that's why they stationed an army. And yeah, they did finally declare war. I think we are like small enough to be annexed. Frankly enough. What the hell do we do over here? There's, there's literally nothing we can do. If things go on well, we might be like vassalized and we're going to spend like the rest of our lives just in the shadow of the moment. But as always, let's do more shards everywhere. And yes, I know that we have zero military maintenance. Uh, there we go. Have no maintenance whatsoever. Yay! Must have declared war on Lithuania. We have done that that a little bit faster. Well, this war might be an interesting change of events. They just uh, got into a war with Muscovy, Bohemia, Austria, and Hungary. That's a big war, which we might be able to like sort of pull out of it. Mm, their goal is to take that trade. The thing is that we're going to have negative stability because they're going to like offer us a peace treaty of just that, you know, uh, even though they're going to have much more uh, siege and, you know, there's going to be, oh, if you don't take that peace treaty, turmoil is going to happen in your country. Mm. <sighs> what a shitload of ass. Uh, spend it generously. Yeah, more prestige. Decentralized ruling go gone away. No army maintenance. There's like no army to maintain, dude. Calm your tits. Mm, sort it out. Let's try over here because they have a small uh, garrison. Uh, wow, that was interesting. We have like 600 men left. Well, shit. I cannot start even, uh, if the garrison has less than a thousand. Uh, interesting. Pretty cool though. I'm glad I got to try this uh, new mechanic. Speed 5. 
Oh my god. Sure, why not? Uh, what was I thinking about? I don't think I was thinking about anything. I'm just like so screwed over here. Hmm, lost the city of Lunsania. Now they're going to like ask for their stupid peace treaties. Uh, let's invest our uh, technology idea. Hey, let's see. Maybe we can do something with Muscovy over here right now. Royal marriage, certainly. And then maybe we can do that alliance. Just come on, we're one point away. What the hell is this bullshit? Are you kidding me? That is just balls. Do you want a gift or something? Just shove it up your ass. Come on, Scovy, we're in the same world together. What a freaking... Hey, do you want the military access through us? They're already offering them. Mm. Oh well, a uh, new national uh, decision. Tolerance of heretics at less uh, stability cost. Missionary strength at less tolerance of heretics. Yeah, these two go together well. And uh, yeah, uh, we can grab our new idea and that will be the new espionage ideas. As promised, the pre peasants are to be ignored. Soldiers are just peasants in uniforms. Yeah, sure, we don't have really that much war exhaustion anyway. Could like rebuild an army, or we could let not Austria on siege us. I'm totally fine with that. And yeah, let's focus on uh, diplomatic tech now. Or diplomatic like points, just to like hopefully get. Uh, you know what? Go, uh, go eat a zik. We are not going to accept the peace treaty now. We are just in a, such a good shape. We can only refuse peace treaties until we get to like minus three stability, and afterwards we're going to be done. And the Romanian peasants want to get, go out and have a fight. Oh my god, so much stuff is happening. Fuck off, Poland. I'm not going to accept your peace treaty. Uh, sure, more military power. Or uh, mercantilism is good too. Damn it. Mm. Ah, they surely want to pressure us. They know that they're going to lose the war. Come on, I just need to hold it until the sieges are done. There you go. There you go. Austria, what the hell are you doing? Don't tell me you pissed out. You fucking pussy! Oh my god. Well, shit. Well, that didn't work out so well. Bargain efficiency and privateer efficiency. Well, sure, you know, why the hell not? And get our next tradition. And yeah, next, uh, like, uh, next time they're going to offer us the peace treaty, we'll have no choice but to accept. Cannot suggest demands. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, anyway, um, um, one year of plus two unrest really isn't going to bother me that much. Peasant uprising. Could accept demand. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, should we sort you out just to like finish this faster? There you go. Over here as well. There you go. Alright, come on, bring it. Bring the peace treaty. I I, I don't care. L look, see see if I care. Okay, we have you have me fully sieged, and yeah, this has been it. I've been fully occupied. Wow. Uh well, uh this has been pretty much the story of Great Romania. It didn't really last as uh, long as it should. I know that I've made some poor decisions and things could have gone differently, and I know I could have like exited the war a little bit sooner and maybe I would have lasted for a little bit longer but there's not like we were in a pretty terrible shape anyway and I don't think we could have worked out uh, much from there I think the problem was when we like allied the Teutonic Order and got to, you know to a war with Bohemia and then uh, Poland got against us and yeah pretty much stuff went downhill from there 
anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this small series. I might uh, do another one uh, with the new... Ah, just like freaking exited the game. Never mind. I might do another one when the new, uh, another expansion patch sort of comes out. But uh, until then, uh, you know, hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time whatever I'm going to make. Bye-bye.